Joe List was on uh, last week, and he yeah. told us that he had just bought a car that he was very happy with, but yes, that he... Uh, he didn't tell us anything except that you guys share an accountant, and uh, he had talked to his accountant. It's yours, too, and the accountant said something to the effect of, like, oh, you and your buddy Mark are... Uh, you guys are on different uh, different planes in terms of buying cars, huh? I don't know. I don't know what that guy's doing. I don't know what your buddy Mark is doing, and that's that's uh, where he left it. Well, yeah, we you know, figured you, you would tell us. I'm sitting in my apartment all day long with I got I got eBay, I got Bring a Trailer, which is basically an eBay for cars, and I'm just scouring, and I'm like, oh, I want that, I want this, and it's not healthy. I got the inter- it's too easy to buy things. Yeah. You know, back in the day, yeah. you had to get a wad of cash together, maybe you go get a loan from the bank. But now it's just Venmo, PayPal. Put your credit card into this computer box, and you're good to go. They don't care if you don't if you don't have the money or if you can't afford it, or and, you don't have a garage. And let's be honest, you got money coming in now, which you didn't have before. Like, there's actually you you can buy a thing that you before I, you couldn't buy a thing. Now you can buy a thing. There's exactly, cash. which is yes. not good for me because. Before you know it, I'm going to adopt an Asian kid or, or buy a, a beach house or something. So, And I can't buy anything reasonable. Why not buy an espresso machine that's you know going to yeah. last for 20 years? I got to buy shit that needs a garage or I'm going to get a cat <laughs> or something. I, I'm fucking myself. Here's the moped you- key, by the way. I bought a new key. I went outside to put it in the moped and it was fucking gone. <laughs> you ah! want the luxuries. You want the luxuries. Of of the city and the suburbs, and you got to make a yes. decision. Like you yeah. can't have all the comfort unless you get a, get a car. You got to get a garage. You you need to make like have places to put this shit. I mean, I drive a car in the city. It's a write off for us because it, you're only using it for work. Um, so at least you could write some of it off. So that's kind of how I convinced myself it's okay. What was your yeah. process of buying a car or or whatever you just did? Well, here's the clinker. Not only did I buy a car, I bought a vintage 1973 rare antique <laughs> cool car. Like, I bought a rare car. Wait, it's got wait. rust all over it. It barely runs. I don't even know how to drive a stick, Jimmy. I'm screwed. Wait, you didn't. Why did you get a car you couldn't drive? Well, it's a bucket of bolts. I mean, it, it rides, but uh, I don't know if I can get to Hasbro Heights and back. But. Jim, I, I know why. I know. Of I know course. why. I got a, I know. Of course. You know why. A hundred. You know why I got a vintage car. Of yep. course. Well, yep. let's not get crazy. I had a vintage car in high school. I like old cars. Oh. New cars look like hell. Plus, there's not enough problems with a new car. You know me. I got to make it harder. Yeah, but you also got to. You also got to uh, let friends know that you made a new purchase. Ah, I haven't even told it yet. <laughs> what kind of car is it? <laughs> You got to pull this up. I, uh, I don't know if you can do that but anymore, but it's a 1973 BMW 2002, which is this super cool old kind of a mini hot rod Beamer. Huh. Oh, wow. It's got the round tail lights. It's cute. It's sexy. It's fast. And it's very, it's very 70s. It's almost like a, it almost looks like, like a mod squad yeah. type of. Yes, squared off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool. 70s movie. It's like a matchbox Stylish. car. It's like a matchbox yeah. car. Yes. Yes, exactly. And uh It's it's I'm the type of car this... It's the type of What's car that? that you would drive around New York City and you would go pick up a comedian in and you guys would go get coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that right, well, Jim? Is that would you say that that's yeah. 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 Oof. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe we could do a show where you help me fix it. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, it, it, it's all my fault because I got on this this website where you can bid for cars, and it's four in the morning. I got a cup of scotch in my hand. Oh. Uh, I got disheveled hair. I'm in my underwear, and me and this guy are just bidding back and forth. Some old guy in Cleveland. And he's probably a loaded dentist or something, and I'm a nobody comedian. And the ego gets the best of you. You know, you go, what? Yep. It's just down to me and you. I'm not going to let you win. Then he's putting up yep. another thousand. Then you put it up another twelve hundred, and then you just keep going. And before you know it, it says you won. And I've said, oh, right when it hits you, you're like, what have I done? This is real now. It's almost like having a kid on accident. Like I didn't, I didn't. I'm not ready for a kid. And that kid's on the way. First of all, like I was probably the owner. Uh, under a different screen name, <laughs> getting oh, the price higher. 
Yes, oh, God. Two yeah. questions. For, well, first of all, if it's a stick, yeah. Did have you gone and gotten it yet? No, it's on a trailer right now, being shipped here from California. It is being shipped cross, and cross country. That would be the most expensive yeah. trailer ride that you could possibly get in the continental either, United it's States. So, it's so yeah. rusted out. I had to get a covered trailer. That that adds another two grand. <laughs> How much oh was it to God. ship it? Ah, God, it was like I don't know. Nineteen hundred, twenty one hundred, and it's rusted, so you can't drive it. Well, you can drive it in the sunlight. You know, I wouldn't drive it in the rain. So what it are just you has do? rust spots on it. Like it, oh. it needs to be painted and buffed out. And well, this is going to be like a, the a project for you. Oh yeah, and I don't even yeah. have a garage. I had to talk to the guy on the phone. He's like a big BMW aficionado, and he's like. You got to keep this thing in a garage, temperature controlled, you know, no no wetness. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to put it in a fucking, you know, car stack garage here in, in the village. Inside or outside? <laughs> inside. Yeah, put it inside. Now, of course, the big question, how much did you pay for the car? Ah, well, I got a pretty good deal. I mean, for what okay. I got, even though it's, it's a fixer-upper, they're very rare and they're very collectible. So oh. I got it for 15k, which is you know, <laughs> not not a not nothing, but pretty good for what I got. And if I really put the time well, and energy into this thing and flip it, I can I can sell it for maybe 40 in about 30. That's years. That's great. That in, in 30 years, that's great. But you're talking 15k for the car, yeah. two grand to ship it. Yeah, the garage is going to cost you know 400 whatever a month. the garage. Yeah, at least 400. Easily. Yeah. Yeah, so you're talking that's another five grand a year. Uh, uh. And then you've got to you got to fix the thing. You're already at, at, at you're already at 25 almost. Right. For oh, the, the actual God. price just to have the rusted out shit box. Yep. And then the yeah. money that you're going to have to put in, like how much money you would know better than us, I think. How much money do you think it's going to cost to fix the car to the point that it's cool? Well, I've been looking at parts, and they're not cheap, you know, because they're like old and rare and whatever. Sure. So the parts are a bitch, and then you got to pay the guy to put them in, and that's maintenance mm. and labor and all that. So that's right. it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it over years, you know, just really one one step at a time, like an alcoholic, you know, put new seats in, put a nice little cute radio and a carburetor, and I got to get a new suspension. And some new shocks and a manifold and all that. So Look, check back in in like 2028. And that thing will you're be gonna like a You're going to hate this kitten. fucking thing. You're going to oh, hate it. Geez. Because as a comic, you want to just get in the car and go. Like yes. For, to have to fix up a car in a fucking stick shift. It's not going to have any of the modern stuff you like. like it's not going to have satellite radio or a few other no. things you might like when you travel. You're going to be in New York so paranoid that somebody dings it. Nah. Um. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, Jim, you tell me. How do you think Mark's gonna feel when he's got a road gig in Jersey or Connecticut or anywhere drivable, upstate? Even. Yeah. Yeah. And he still has to. You're still gonna have to get a zip car to drive oh, to the gig. This isn't. On. This isn't your highway car. Like, of course, you're just gonna rent a zip car. So you got to pay for the zip car. And while you're driving in your rental. Which is, I mean, you're basically paying for two cars like you're paying for two apartments. While you're yeah. driving in your rental, all you're going to be thinking about is, I'm not going to be home for four days. And this car is just, uh. this rare collectible car is just sitting in the garage with the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Like, what's going uh. on? Oh, God. Yeah, they're just jumping <laughs> it up on the uh, Williamsburg yeah. Bridge. God <laughs> damn it. I know. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. But I, I really feel like if I put my head down and really focus i can i can make something out of this and i'm gonna film the whole thing try to sell That's it cool. to bmw or whoever the hell get a sponsor and uh, just try to what? make something work do you think wait bmw you're just a guy who bought a car and had it shipped and you think bmw is gonna pay for a sponsorship what are you <laughs> well, insane maybe, <laughs> well maybe if i make it funny and you know we make a, we really put together a nice sizzle who knows they could get on board I mean, possibly, yeah. and you are doing very well. Your special did yeah. so well. So, yeah, maybe there will be some interest there, but I just can't see you being a corporate sponsor. Uh, no, cor uh, being no, sponsored by a corporation. 
Wow, you guys yeah. are really negative. I feel like you got to have an open mind here. And you're right. Will you're also, right. I'll say the yeah. speedometer isn't working and the headlights are out. But no. <laughs> I'm gonna get under that thing. I'm gonna buy one of those creeper things, those rolly things, and get a get a splotch of grease on my face and get a wrench turning. Well, I'm gonna learn. Where, how where to are you gonna? It. Where? Yeah, where are you gonna do the work? I figure I'll sneak into the garage at some point and just get under the car. Do you think that he's gonna allow that? For insurance, he's going to go, no, 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 no. They're going to tell you no because of insurance you're not allowed to. They're going to let you work in the uh, fucking do body work in the garage. (laughs) What if I say, hey, I forgot my coat in the back seat, and then you get under it? (laughs) He'll probably be like, did you find your coat after five minutes? And he'll be like, what's the wrench in the life? Do you you think you can sneak in and fix a car? You can't sneak in and fix a car into an active garage. (laughs) Those garages no, are very not... big. They're, they're the busy, those those kids. But that's not really how New York City garages te- traditionally work. They don't let you have... I mean, think about it this way, Mark. If it wasn't your car, right? If it were somebody else's uh... car, it would be like you using their space to start an auto body shop. And they would probably uh... be like, of course you can't do that here. This is not... This is my business. You can't just bring your business into here and Pretend you're looking for your coat every day. <laughs> well, I figure I'd get to know the Guatemalan guy after about a six months period. You know, he knows me. No, okay. I've, uh, all right, I can see it. I've been I've been going into parking garages for a lot of years, and I, yeah. I have had them in my building, and I have I mean a thousand times, and not once have I ever <laughs> seen a person working on their vehicle. Not once in all of my times in and out of a garage have I seen somebody with their feet sticking out from underneath the car. <laughs> I've never seen that. Like, because you have to bring in spare parts. Like, wh- yeah. where are you wow. going to put the spare parts? Cars are well, crammed let's say, together. I got to let's say I got to change the oil. I go in there with a with the new oil can under my jacket and an oil filter, and then I don't see why that they would bother them if I just knock out the oil real quick and let it leak onto their floor. <laughs> They're gonna let you drain the oil onto their floor. Well, it's a so it's a slanted place. So I feel like it would run down. I mean, Jim, do people change the oil in like New York I, City garages? I wouldn't even be comfortable just topping off. I wouldn't even be comfortable <laughs> just putting a little oil in to top the oil off wow, to drain the oil silly. with no oil pan. The guy is probably yeah. gonna come over and go, "What the first? What the fuck are you doing? Where's your pan? Where's your fucking oil pan?" <laughs> You keep that in the trunk. All right. I think uh-huh. I think you're going to have to make friends with like an auto body spot yes. in the city. Yes. Who might even let you stash the car there for a temporary period of time, you know, if he doesn't have a other business or whatever. Yeah. And then maybe 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 he'll let you do that. I think I think that's that's what you got to do. I think you got to make friends. There are auto body places in the city obviously. So totally. I think I think you got to make friends with an auto body guy. Well, and then maybe I will maybe he'll get that... so excited about the car and seeing it and being a part of the process that that you know it, it could be a thing that you guys partner on or something. Yes, yeah, I will say that I've talked about this on my podcast, and I had a lot of people reach out and go, "Hey, I run a BMW thing out in Long Island, or I got a thing in yep. Jersey. I have a garage in Queens. Come by anytime." Oh. I'll get you a little discount. We'll take a photo. So people have been reaching out. And I, I got to say, there's a lot of real car lovers out there who, who just want to help, which was very nice. I, I love the and fact that you make these decisions, though. I love that you're making like you got the one apartment. You're, you're not good to do like and I, you know, you're you'll do something without closing the door behind you. Like you didn't have the apartment rented before you got the new place. Um, right. You don't have any plan for the car. You just go out and get a car shipped from California that needs twenty thousand dollars worth of work. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Well, I got, and then, <laughs> I, I got you some go like stuff this. lined you... up. Like I, I got the shift the, uh, some fan is gonna teach me how to drive a stick. On uh, the car comes on the thirteenth. On the twelfth, I'm learning how to ride drive a stick all day. I'm gonna spend all day and we're gonna film that. And some, <laughs> you know, fat kid's gonna teach me and on his car, which is very nice, because I'm gonna really grind that thing to hell. And then I'll yeah. I'll know how to drive stick. Yeah, I do like that that you come up with this stuff where you're like, I'm sure, or what I'll do is, and then you'll reveal this plan that will never work. 
but you've convinced uh, yourself that like this is the way it'll go. I I will say this though, I I think that there you could this could happen because I think you will end up finding people who like cars and like comedy, and you'll you'll find an auto body shop. I don't think the parking garage is the spot, but I think there will be an auto body shop you can go to. And I'll say this, Mark. Uh-huh. Once you do get the car all fixed up yes. and you're driving around in it, people are going to think you're the man. Like, it's going to look uh-huh. cool when you're driving around and the car looks nice. It's going to be expensive. It's going to take time. It's going to be complicated. But once it's completed, I'm looking at it now, and when you're, like, tooling around the city and you're driving that, people, it is going to be cool. Thank it's a you. nice what, what, car. I, it's honestly something I can picture Mr. Magoo driving, but it's not a bad looking <laughs> car. But it's going to be, who wants to store their car in Queens? You're not going to be happy right, going to Queens too. to work. Hey, what are you going to go? I'm going to go to Queens and change the oil. Who the fuck wants to do that? I love you. I, hear you. I, I love that Mark's plan is it's delivered on the 13th. What are you doing the 12th? Mastering the stick shift. I've never yeah. driven a stick shift. I'm going to learn on the 12th. I got it all lined up. It's all locking in, and uh, I I think it'll be good. If you, if you just forget about the car for like a year, by the time you guys see me in it, whatever wherever that'll be, it'll be good to go, and you guys won't even know about all the hell I went through. You'll just yeah. see. Yep. You know, it's it's kind of like getting on a flight. You know, when you you go, all right, I'm gonna book this six a.m. flight. The day of, you go, ah, I gotta wake up at three thirty. I gotta leave the house by four thirty to get there at five. And it's yeah. hell, but if you just drag your body through it, you get through the flight, you land, it's all over. And I You're feel like the car is going to be the same way. It's going to be By hell the way, that's getting why, through it, but once it's done, it's done. Yeah, That's why he hasn't told Jerry about it yet. What does that mean? I think that you want Jerry to see you driving it and be like, oh, yeah, no, this is just my car. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, that I think pretty the, cool. The, I think that you don't want Jerry to know all the silliness of the beginning parts of the process. And you're waiting until, like, things start to make sense. Like, this part is the fun part for us. And then uh-huh. once you get it to a place where it makes sense and, you know, you're doing work on it and everything is – once everything is lined up, then then you'll drop it to Jerry. Interesting. Well, he's going to want to see it. There's no doubt about that. Well, he has yeah. a garage. I mean, you know that on the Upper East Side. He has a Porsche garage, uh, which you're well aware of. So you know, yeah. have you been in there to see the cars? I have not. Ryan Hamilton told me about it. He said it was pretty amazing, but I don't know. I mean, that, that's that got to be $8 million a square inch. I don't know if I, he'll let me squeeze a, a Magoo car in there. But you what, know, what, I remember when he was doing chair? that. He had that whole fucking – he bought a brownstone. I think had everything knocked out. It's really amazing. Like that's how Amazing. you know you've done well in New York when you buy a brownstone yeah. to have it made into a girl, and the neighbors wanted to kill him because it was loud. It was a <laughs> lot of right. fucking work. I guess the whole inside had to be gutted to store wow. Porsches, right? Yeah. And is it now? Is elevator. it is it done by lift? It's, it's, it's an elevator, right? Yeah, yeah. You just pull it right into a garage, and it goes and it brings it all the way up. Oh, I think wow. it's got a couple floors. It's pretty insane. How many cars are in it? I think it's about forty or so. Oh, that's more wow. than I thought. Okay. And then he has another one in L.A., which is like an airplane hangar, and that one's way bigger. That's like the real one. The one in New York is just for fun. Yeah, Man, Leno has nuts. that, too. I, I've never seen Jay's yeah. either. I want to go to him. He's like, they said he has a couple of airplane hangars uh, filled with cars. He'd be yeah. a guy who would be able to. Have you? Do you, do you know Leno? I don't. I, I'm a big fan. I, I, I love Leno, but... Uh, Maybe once I learn a stick and I fix this thing up, he'll he'll do a little expose on it.
Joe List was on uh, last week, and he yeah. told us that he had just bought a car that he was very happy with, but yes. that uh, he, he didn't tell us anything except that you guys share an accountant, and uh, he had talked to his accountant. It's yours, too, and the accountant said something to the effect of, like, oh, you and your buddy Mark are... Uh, you guys are on different uh, different planes in terms of buying cars, huh? I don't know. I don't know what that guy's doing. I don't know what your buddy Mark is doing, and that's that's uh, where he left it. Well, yeah, we you know, figured you, you would realize, tell us. I'm sitting in my apartment all day long with I got I got eBay, I got Bring a Trailer, which is basically an eBay for cars, and I'm just scouring, and I'm like, oh, I want that, I want this, and it's not healthy. I got the inter- it's too easy to buy things. Yeah. You know, back in the day, yeah. they get a wad of cash together, maybe go get a loan from the bank. But now it's just Venmo, PayPal. Put your credit card into this computer box, and you're good to go. They don't care if you don't, if you don't have the money or if you can't afford it, or and, you don't have a garage. And let's be honest, you got money coming in now, which you didn't have before. Like, there's actually you you can buy a thing that you before I, you couldn't buy a thing. Now you can buy a thing. There's exactly, cash. which is yes. not good for me because. Before you know it, I'm going to adopt an Asian kid or, or buy a, a beach house or something. So, And I can't buy anything reasonable. Why not buy an espresso machine that's you know going to yeah. last for 20 years? I got to buy shit that needs a garage or I'm going to get a cat <laughs> or something. I, I'm fucking myself. Here's the moped you- key, by the way. I bought a new key. I went outside to put it in the moped and it was fucking gone. <laughs> you <laughs> want the luxuries. You want the luxuries. Of of the city and the suburbs, and you got to make yes. a decision. Like you yeah. can't point. have all the comfort unless you get a, you get a car. You got to get a garage. You you need to make like have places to put this shit. I mean, I drive a car in the city. It's a write off for us because it, you're only using it for work. Um, so at least you could write some of it off. So that's kind of how I convinced myself it's okay. What was your yeah. process of buying a car or or whatever you just did? Well, here's the clinker. Not only did I buy a car, I bought a vintage 1973 rare antique <laughs> cool car. Like, I bought a rare car. Wait, it's got wait. rust all over it. It barely runs. I don't even know how to drive a stick, Jimmy. I'm screwed. Wait, you didn't. Why did you get a car you couldn't drive? Well, it's a bucket of bolts. I mean, it, it rides, but uh, I don't know if I can get to Hasbro Heights and back. But. Jim, I, I know why. I know. Of I know course. why. Got a, I know. Of course, you know why. A hundred. You know why I got a course. vintage car. Of yep. course. Well, yep. let's not get crazy. I had a vintage car in high school. I like old cars. Oh. New cars look like hell. Plus, there's not enough problems with a new car. You know me. I got to make it harder. Yeah, but you also got to. You also got to uh, let friends know that you made a new purchase. Ah, I haven't even told it yet. <laughs> what kind of car is it? <laughs> You got to pull this up. I, uh, I don't know if you can do that but anymore, but it's a 1973 BMW 2002, which is this super cool old kind of a mini hot rod Beamer. Huh. Oh, wow. It's got the round tail lights. It's cute. It's sexy. It's fast. And it's very it's very 70s. It's almost like a it almost looks like like a mod squad yeah. type of yes. squared off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like that's a really cool 70s movie. It's like a Stylish. matchbox car. It's like a matchbox yeah. car. Yes. Yes, exactly. And uh it's it's I'm the type of car this... It's the type of What's car that? that you would drive around New York City and you would go 